Before we start with the video, I want to let you know that I'm launching private mentorship uh, that will start on 10th of April 2023. So I received a lot of uh, requests uh, to start private uh, Discord uh, group with limited spots. So if you want to learn how to trade uh, in our private Discord group, you will learn uh, key setups, uh, psychology part, live trading with me, taking the trades together and managing them. And you will also have 24 seven access to uh, me with any questions you may have. So if you want to uh, start, click the link below in the description and uh, join our private waitlist. I have limited spots there, so make sure you reserve your spots by entering uh, your information on the link below. So, see you there. Hello traders, welcome to our today's weekly forex forecast video. Jean here from becomingtraderfx.com and we are coming uh, to the end of the March 2023. And uh, yes, last week we had uh, quite a lot of volatility and uh, some nice opportunities. Uh, however, we are now on Friday and we have still a few hours uh, left to the market uh, close. I away on the weekend, so I'm uh, doing this uh, video uh, actually uh, today on late uh, Friday. So anyway, let's start on the Euro US uh, dollar. What is the trend structure there? As you can see, we have bullish structure and we have now price after a couple of days of uh, increasing prices there we are now in the retracement phase and price is in this uh, daily retracement uh, area as you can see we have possible a uh, higher low as we have as you can see nice bounce today so overall we have bullish structure for now uh, which means that ideally we want to look for uh, long opportunities as you can see on the four hourly uh, chart we had a lot of opportunities to participate into this uh, long move to the upside and now for the last uh, two days we have this uh, retracement uh, phase on the uh, four hourly uh, time frame as you can see uh, price is uh, creating a little bit of a lower uh, high scale and lower lows uh, so we have to be uh, in this kind of a waiting mode for now uh, what we want is uh, as the daily is uh, creating possible higher low there uh, and as long as we have this bullish uh, structure uh, then of course we need to wait for a possible let's say retest and then possible uh, higher highs higher low again here in order to look for uh, opportunities here as long as uh, we have this uh, retracement uh, phase here and uh, support uh, there we want to ideally look for possible opportunities in order to attack those uh, previous highs again. So daily bullish structure for our for now is in the retracement uh, phase. So we need to wait for uh, possible opportunities in order to attack those highs again. For now it's a little bit too early of course because a market just uh, retraced back to this uh, zone but overall bullish structure is there so maybe we'll see another uh, retest of the support before moving higher again so bullish structure is there so uh, this is uh, what uh, we can uh, look for and uh, trading idea for the uh, last uh, week in the march 2023 so what i would like to see is a possible let's say a lower high here and then price breaking higher uh, creating this change of the structure uh, to the bullish on the four hourly and then we can maybe look for four hourly one hourly opportunities targeting the buy side liquidity the resistance up here around 130 140 pips away uh, that's ideal scenario as long as support is holding then we have a gbp us dollar uh, we have daily bullish structure as you can see price is moving higher retracing moving higher retracing moving to the new highs here uh, from yesterday and then price as you can see retrace a little bit and now it's bouncing again so similar as uh, euro us dollar we have potential a uh, higher low uh, here as we have bullish structure prices bouncing from the lows bouncing from support and of course 
the premium is up here. Previous highs about 90 pips away. On the 4 hourly, what about the 4 hourly? Here we had, as you can see, nice move higher, a retracement, and we didn't get any confirmation uh, from the 4 hourly or 1 hourly uh, chart in order to look for longs. Price just retraced more, and we have, as you can see, we have uh, two lower uh, highs, uh, potential lower highs here. And uh, as long as we have bullish structure uh, on the daily, then what we need is similar as euro US dollar, maybe a little bit of retracement and then price changing the structure to the new with a new high, break to the upside, retest and then we can look for opportunities in order to target this buy side liquidity with the resistance up here. That's ideal scenario. Uh, daily as you can see as long as uh, price is staying uh, here in this support zone and above it we can maybe look for longs to target the highs. If this area breaks, of course, we'll see, but for now, the bullish structure is here, price is respecting the support, so we have to follow the price and follow the footprint of the market. What about the Aussie? Aussie is a little bit different here. What is interesting here is this break to the downside. So we had first spike and price was not able to close above swing high here. We had second retail, uh, uh, kind of a retry here <laughs> as you can see price spiked back and we had two days of daily spike here price was not able to close above this uh, high here and today as you can see we had break lower price broke below swing low here which means we have potential structural change on the daily so here on the daily we have this bearish structure and then we had bullish structure this retracement higher highs higher lows and then as you can see we have to uh, try of market pushing to the uh, upside but price was not able to close above swing high today we have break of the swing low here so which means we can maybe expect more weakness uh, to come here so daily looks bearish for now as we had break of swing low here so potential structural change four hourly we have also nice a change of the structure here as you can see we had yesterday we had break higher and on the retracement price was not able to stop it just moved lower broke swing low here which was also daily swing low bounced a little bit and then we had nice bearish candle to the downside so nice structure change on the four hourly as you can see bounce strong break to the downside and then what the 4 hour and daily charts are telling you there is a potential more weakness to come especially uh, we have nice as you can see break uh, to the downside here in this uh, zone so daily is bearish 4 hour is bearish and what we want on the 4 hour is a little bit of higher retracement price move down around 70 pips so let the price retrace a little bit more maybe 35 pips something like that around 50 percent retracement back to this level and then we can use the full hour and one hour charts in case the price wants to bounce from this area in order to look for short so this is nice chart nice uh, pair we can watch for in the upcoming uh, week uh, as you can see uh, so beautiful area to and beautiful spot to look for potential uh, bounces to the downside kiwi new zealand us dollar uh, this uh, daily chart as you can see we have we have uh, this bullish structure price is creating higher highs higher lows but what is interesting is also yesterday's and wednesday's price action this spike here and spike there of course price made new high so previous highs were broken with the new highs but what is interesting is this rejection nice spike and then bearish candle on the daily so on the Aussie, we already broke previous swing uh, low but on the kiwi here price just to retest this level and bounce a bit so what we need is ideally break below in order to be in this bearish daily structure and then on the four hourly what about the four hour as you can see we need what i would like to see is a possible lower high here and then break below this support zone in order to, to be bearish as on the uh, aussie us dollar that already broke swing high uh, swing low here and uh, yes we need to wait on this one uh, in case this uh, happens as you can see we have also nice 
uh, break a nice uh, fair value gap here. Let's break onto the downside. So yes, first of all, uh, we need to uh, we need to remove those lines and we need to actually wait for uh, this swing low to be broken in order to uh, to be bearish as on the obviously uh, US uh, dollar. Uh, so yes, that's the key level uh, I'm watching for the upcoming uh, days. Then we have was uh, USD Canadian dollar. This one is also interesting. What is the daily structure there? If you ask, uh, if you just follow the raw footprint of the market, here we have swing low, price pushed to the swing high, we got retracement, new higher low, price moved higher, we got lower high as you can see, move lower to previous lows, we had another bounce, moved higher, lower high was formed here, price retested this support, yesterday we had another spike here, and then we had, as you can see, nice breakout today. So it looks like price broke this swing high here. So we have to watch the lower time frames because uh, on the 4 hour and daily, of course, we have nice beautiful spike, which means and which is telling us that we may see uh, interest for a higher prices there. And uh, we have also nice, as you can see, daily uh, spikes to the upside at support. So I would say that we have a little bit of bullish tone here on this particular uh, daily time frame, especially because this swing high was broken today on this move higher, price retraced a little bit, and on the full hourly, what is the structure here? As you can see, if you just follow the price action, we have lower high here yesterday, I mean a uh, lower low, price reversed to the upside, kicked out the previous swing high here, new high was established and now we are uh, after price moving higher we are in this retracement uh, kind of a discount uh, area so what we need to see is a higher low to form here so we need this higher low to be established here and then we can look for possible bounces on the four hour and one hour charts in order to look for long trades so we need higher low to be uh, formed uh, here so that's what we can look for after price created this new high. Uh, so yes, let's wait for price to form a higher low here. Uh, and then we have the last one, USDN. Uh, here we had nice short trades yesterday. And what about the daily chart now? We have bearish structure, as you can see lower highs, lower lows. And after price moving lower, it bounced a little bit. So we are overall still in this bearish structure on the daily. So what about the full hourly? So on the full hourly, here we had nice move to the downside with a bit of lower low, a retracement. So here is the area where we looked for short trades. We moved lower, book our profits, price formed lower low here, and now it's retracing. So overall daily structure is to the downside, 4 hourly structure is to the downside, we have nice move to the downside with lower low, so if you measure from the top to the low we have around 200 pips move, now price is in this retracing phase with more than 50% retracement, so we move to the premium, we retrace back to the discount zone, which means that ideally we want to see a possible lower high to form here. And if this resistance on the Sunday and of course Monday, we can look for possible bounces, possible rejections from the highs, from this top for potential lower high here, in order to look for four hour and one hourly trades to the downside, targeting the premium, the support, the sell side liquidity down there around 100 pips. So that's what I'm watching for as long as we are in the bearish structure also on the full hourly followed by of course the hard time frame to the daily so yes that's my view for the upcoming days for the last week of march 2023 i hope this was helpful and i hope this video will help in your own trading so yes make sure that you uh rewatch it if you don't if you didn't understand it and yes let's prepare ourselves for the upcoming days 
And uh, yes, I wish a lot of success and happy weekend. Take care.